Hello everyone, my name is Sinmer and we've got something new for you today. However, before we get into the video, I'd like to take a moment to tell you that nearly 70% of people who watch our videos are not subscribed. If you're not subscribed, you could do me a huge favor by liking the video, commenting below, subscribing to the channel, and ringing that bell. It really helps out the channel and lets me know that you're liking what I'm making. Alright, without further ado, let's get into the video. Better here, so... Might as well... Just start running full speed. Cool. Let's go over there. Hope we don't run into any scavenger packs or anything like that. The Storm Gap Coast. Samurai Gate Sarge. Hello, Sarge. Go on through. You've got it. Okay, so over here we have a we have a trap we have a travel shop, a, a normal shop. And a bar. Alright. And what okay, yeah, the travel shop is over there. And, uh, well, we can't really do much right now unless we want to burgle everything. Look for something. I don't know. Let's see. What do we have here? We have plenty of food, so we don't need to worry about that just much. Did you hear? Tinfist struck the stone camp last night. Tinfist, you say? Shh. Voice down. Anyone hears you spreading stories about that guy, you'd be beaten to the ground. Well then, don't mind me. I'm just a fly on the wall over here, waiting for... Waiting. The shops to open up, so we can potentially see if there's anything over there we can take. Well, this is just residential, right? Yeah. Empire Peasants, Empire Peasants. Sounds about right. And who are the Black Dogs? Question for us to find out. Who are these guys? More Samurai? Yeah. What are you? Samurai Sergeant. Going to casually walk into the drink, go around. Sounds good. Let's get a good look at that. Captain Igor makes my skin crawl, that guy. I heard he eats babies. Bullshit. But then, even Lord Tingu himself is scared shitless of him. Is he? Lord Tingu, we met him last time. Not last episode, but last playthrough. And you guys are Flavor Caravan Guards. AKA douchebags. Maybe we can kill the slavers. Massacre their population. Alright, anytime now. I think everything opens up at six. Everyone just casually walking about. Doing their thing. Yeah, I heard from the caravan guard last night. Pinfist back, terrorizing slave caravans to boot. Assault! What's with this? Fight! Huh? Oh. Wait, are we being attacked? Head out! It's not us who's under attack. I'm gonna go in here and put that's up now. Oh yeah, there are some bandits over there. Alright, friend, uh, let's say hello to you. I'll see what you've got. I don't know. I don't know. Swamps. Tech Hunter Library. World's End. Alright, thanks. That was, uh... Not particularly useful to us, but hey, 
It is what it is. Let's take that. Also, make sure our volume high enough for this game. All right, max. Okay, so we have a ruin added out here in Shun. Nice. So there are bandits. Well then, who are they? Yeah, so that's a shop guard. That is a grass pirate, huh? He's pretty good. We could learn something about fighting that guy. Let's go over there. Join in the battle just a little bit. Watch our ability to fight Skyrim. My defenses go up a little bit. Nice. Take that. Okay, he's got a Naganata. It's nice. Naganatas are really nice in being able to take out large groups of enemies. Oh, hello. You have a sleeveless dust coat. Let's see. Low value. Low value. Low value. Low value and a low value. Alright, sounds good. But you know what this person is good for? Let's practice some first aid. <laughs> I guess the other person died. Now let's practice some first aid on you. Oh, they have a bounty on their heads. All right, you. We'll take. We will take you. Now let's go turn them in. And get ourselves a little bit of money. Um, the question is, where do we turn him in? All right, let's head over here. We might as well. And see what you got for me. All right. Need and rumor. Got the finest bowls, the juiciest dried meats. See your supplies, my friend. Nothing I need, unfortunately. So, let's go. This guy is worth 2,000 cats. There aren't any guards here. Oh, I mean, there's guards. There are guards, but there's no... It's no place to turn people in. So, let's go ahead and make our way over to Black Dog HQ, I guess. We're just going to be using this guy to build our strength. We looked at him and said, let strength be ground. Let's stay be ground. Okay, and who are you guys? Gins. Okay. You, it's dangerous here. Be careful. I mean, I'll go talk to him. Hello. It's dangerous up ahead, Romer. A place for a small group like yourself. Around here, we get blood bandits, gutted, bone dogs. It's about everything that once you're dead. You're gonna need yourself some mercs. I'm not interested, thanks though. Don't be a fool. Look at you. You couldn't... You couldn't swat a rat with a sword. I won't be around to peel you off the floor for free when the gutters come or are eating you alive. I'm telling you that now. I said no. Let me, so, let me walk. So, you let me walk all the way over to you for nothing. You waste my time. All this time you distract me. You benefit from my protection. So I had some compensation for that, huh? Um, no. So if, so if you want a customer, what use are you to us, rat? There are a lot of them. Who's down? Alright, see you later. <laughs> None of you guys have guns. None of you guys have crossbows, and we can run faster than you. Let's see, are they good for a fight? Oh, they're actually pretty good. Let's just keep running. See you later. 
We can catch him. We can catch up. Oh, he's just as fast as we are. He's carrying that dead guy. So they actually might be gaining on me. So let's head over to Brink. And let's drop this person. Alright, let's head to Brink. Zoom. <laughs> I can handle myself just fine because I can outrun everything. <laughs> the best in Kenshi until you are in game. You have like 75 stats and be able to fight. Best defense is high athletics. Because <laughs> if you don't have to fight them, then that works for me. They are still chasing us. Those fools. We move so fast, there's no way they'd be able to catch us. Okay, no. Oh, very brink. Nice. Hello, Brink. Where are you? Oh, you don't have any walls or anything, huh? You really are the Brink, aren't you? The Brink of Civilization. Let's sneak so those guys lose us. <laughs> and uh, let's see. Where's this noble's house? Ooh. A weapon shop. I could use that. Let's go. Got the samurai police go and take care of those bone dog dudes. Those, what are they called? Bone dogs? Black dogs? Whatever they are. Hello, friends. How can I hit? Let's trade. I want to see what you got. Okay, you got long swords, ninja blades, all kinds of good stuff. All of it's really low quality, though. So, is what it is, I guess. What a, what a bunch of hot garbage. What's this? Residential. Ooh, a bar. You got another bar too. And we have the law. Clothing shop, that's nice. Let's go ahead and check out the clothing shop. Wow, you're popular today, my friends. Okay, he's got ninja rags. All kinds of stuff that I can't wear. There's a lot of clothes. None of it's been any use to me, though. What's this? Farm shop. Biggest farm shop I've ever seen. <laughs> They're still fighting those bone dogs. Alright. There you are. Let's say hello. He spits. He spits a sad looking piece of straw from his teeth. Well, I'll be damned. New customer. Welcome, traveler. Take a look at my stock. Alright, lots of nice stuff, I guess. Nothing I need, though. <laughs> Blood Reaver. Let's help them out, shall we? As this army of, of samurai warriors come to help us out. Ow! Eh. Take this. Everybody gets turned. <laughs> Wrecked. <laughs> Alright, very nice. Well, we're not injured. We're not injured on our legs, so we can go. Okay, we have Brink over there. We have a way station. We have a market. It's probably a slave market. Let's go over there. See what we can find at that quote unquote market. Oh no. Who are you guys? Grass pirates. 
Can we run past him? Yes. <laughs> we run fast enough. Now just imagine we uh, we we trip and uh, we we'll drop all of our stuff. We have to get back up, and then if, if we die, there's like this baby that that is um I don't know in this container that we have to carry around. And you guys, okay, sounds good. What's over here? Hello, friends. Dirty slavers. Hello, dirty slavers. <laughs> I guess that's where they keep the uh, farm slaves. Hello. Watch your guns. Hey, gear, second hand, good process. I can see that. What's this? Noble's house? <laughs> I can't afford that. Sounds about right for, uh, for this guy. <laughs> okay, so yeah, market. It's just what it is. It's called eye socket, huh? Nice. We could go up here to hang. Never been there before. Yeah. To hang. Now we have 100% dust resistance. We have sufficient acid resistance. So we could make our way over to... Black, Black Desert City. If we wanted to, to do that, a couple of these strange desert trees out here. All right, so we zoom our way past everything. When we need something, we'll just steal it. All right, hang. Over here. Trader's Edge. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Okay, are you guys friendly? Friendly enough? Okay, you're Rezzy. It's a faction, right? Police. A weapon shop. Sounds good. Let's go inside. See what they've got. <laughs> um, I doubt they'll have anything better than what we have. Come in. Hello, brothers. Do we have the foreign saver best for defense? That's an MK2, right? It's solely for personal use, however, it's inevitable that some eventually end up in circulation. So Black Desert City seems like it's one of the better places to go. I think the... Yeah, the greens are better than the blues. Yeah. Greens are better than blues. A masterwork toothpick. So we have a lot of stuff. But he doesn't have anything I need, so let's make our way over here. Hello, friend. You say something you like? Okay, he's got a bunch of stuff, none of it I need. So the general store over there, we don't need any general store stuff. I mean, I think we have, like, the best ensemble right now. We have sufficient acid resistance. We have immunity to dust and gas. Burning will do some damage to us, but not a lot. So, yeah, we're pretty much good to go. We can go anywhere we need to go. Be relatively safe while we do it. Noble House. Gorgeous. 
Oh, the thieves, my shinobi thief friends. Hello. Okay, we have Mr. Plastic Surgeon and a traitor. Hello. What's that? Okay, model MK4. Okay, it's better than what I've got. Probably more expensive than I can afford. Eh, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, so this one is 98. This one is 124. I'll take it. Of course, I'll take this one and put it there. <laughs> I'm going to sell my other katana back to them. Okay. Good, we are better at fighting now. We could, you know, use their facilities to heal our arms. But do we really need to? We're going to heal quickly anyway. So let's see, let's plan our next move. We can go to Trader's Edge. We're out in the Great Desert now. We could play, we could pay a desert, yeah, we could pay a desert to um, Black, to the Deadlands. Black Desert City is going to be out here. So let's try that. Let's see if we have sufficient acid resist to be okay. Who are you guys? A starving vagrant. Okay, what's happening over here? Is it something I could profit from? Eh, maybe. Let's go see. Oh, it's just a bone dog. Okay, sounds good. Let's go over. To the Deadlands. I don't remember where exactly they are. I'm thinking they're over here. We might as well just run full sprint. I mean, our stealth will go up, but... I don't need to worry about it too much. It's over there. That's the Black Desert. Oh, and that's the Eye. Yeah. The Eye of the Storm. I remember there wasn't a whole lot there for us to worry about, so... Yeah. It is what it is. There is the Black Desert. We're in the Grey Desert right now. Okay, who are you? Smugglers. Hello, Smugglers. They seem completely chill with us, so we're going to ignore them if they ignore us. Okay, so... <laughs> we definitely do not want to swim in any of this. The Deadlands. And the Scrap House. No. Let's make our way over there. Oh, damn the rain. That's acid rain everywhere. But we have sufficient protection. No, 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 no. Do not go swimming. It's probably not going to work out for us. Let's go down here instead. Now the Black Desert is fine. There's, I mean, it's a complete disaster down here, but you know, it's all right. As long as we stay out of the water, we're just fine. Let's get up to the scrap house. Over here with this incredible amounts of pollution. Blackened sky, refineries everywhere. Spider bots chasing us down. <laughs> we could kill that with our um, with our stuff. Our um, sling bat, our spring bat. But uh, we don't want to uh, we don't want to dance with that. Come over here. 
This is how you get your. This is how you will likely get your first cyber course, by the way. Cybercore? AI core, I think it is what it is. So over here we go. So when you decide you eventually want to do hydroponics, you can. Yo, Mecken customer! How many years has it been? And just look at the state of this place. Welcome, dear human. And excuse the miss. Any shiny back hordes. A simpleton, really. I'm sure his mind was fried when he got hit in the back of the head in the cha uh, Back some time ago. Old magazines, fragments of old wreckages, funny shaped rocks. We don't have anything worse. We don't have anything of much use here, but then, of course, one man's junk is another's man's treasure. So, how can I help you? Watch your gunks. So this guy, Quinn, has some really good things. Here we have an edge type one. That's the second best I think you can get. It's up there. It's near the top. I think Mateo, or whatever it is, Mario, is the best. We can get some old world bows, specials grade. Some super staves if we want to learn how polar if we want to learn pole arms. Ah uh, yes, some Lobachis. We wanna be really good with with uh, wired area katanas. Okay. He's got one there. What's this? Okay. Okay, an upgraded version. What else you got? He's got a great Wakazashi. And the most important things that are here is th are these. AI cores. So when you start farming, you're most likely... When you start building a base, you're most likely going to need to use AI cores to unlock hydroponics. Now the thing about hydroponics is that it is when the game becomes ultra profitable because you can just make tons and tons of whatever you want and you'll pretty much be good to go ah oh, there we go an edge type 3 that's a super guardless katana so we'll most likely grab that eventually but yeah lots and lots of good stuff we have an eagle cross a special grade eagle cross so that's good That'll be what we eventually use on our character. Something like that. So that when we run into things that are heavily armored, we can just take them out very quickly. But alright. Let's see what he has. We have all these soldier bots. What are soldier bots? Interesting. Alright. Oh, man. I think even just looking at this might make them angry. Doesn't seem as though looking at it makes them angry with us, so that's good. That's sort of just walking over to us now. Like, you what, Mike? And who are you, Dak? Alright, but yeah, Black Rock uh, City. Wonderful place. Great place to vacation. Great vacation home. Get down here. Alright, well, let's go across into the actual city itself. What, oh, to get my skin burned over here? We have 90% protection, so it doesn't do any damage to us, but we still. It still hurts. It just doesn't actually do damage. Live as long as I have human. And you have seen everything. Really? It's good. I've seen everything. 
All right. So the nice part of ooh, who wants them? United Cities. He's pretty good at fighting, so we're going to pass on that. We have a skeletal patron. I wonder what they do here. Oh, skeletal embalmer. Sorry, we don't sell human food. I hope you brought your own. You do anything else? Tell me about this place. There's not a lot to say. We settled here after life grew chaotic in on the outside. Those... But those times were so long ago, no one here has clear memory of our days before the city. What we do know is that we are safer here, acro across acidic ground and hidden away from any war zones. The only downside is our isolation, of our isolation is lack of occupation. Inactivity can be terribly unhealthy to some, both for the mind and the body. Show me your ways, friend. Sounds good. Okay, just looking at that. That's empty. That's got something in there. I'm just curious what's in there. More fuel. What's upstairs? Oh, they have robot bats. Well, those are nice. Who's this? Sad Neil. Hello, Sad Neil. We aren't hiring anyone right now. But otherwise, I'd talk to you. you tell me about how sad you are. So this is Black Desert City. There are skeleton smiths here. Supposedly. The Armory. Well, I could go in there. Try that. See what we can find. Hello! Is there a merchant here? We've got Ben. Hackle. And then here are where the smiths work, I suppose. Okay, then. Let's go to the other place that was over there. You. You skeletons sleep. I guess we'll find out. All right, you. Hello. A human. It's not every day I get a human customer. But, sure, I've got plenty of parts that would fit you fine indeed. Did you travel all the way along, all the way here just for my expertise? Gosh, I'm flattered. Don't blame your, I don't blame your, though, human. That's is good for nothing but rotting. Where was I going with this? Right, that was it. Guess you're looking for some, to buy some parts? Maybe you're looking for some repairs? I can fix anything, trust me. Years of experience. Everybody thinks we're a rob thinks they're a robot expert these days, I bet. But they've got nothing on the robotics capital of the land. Believe you me, you were right to pilgrimage hundreds of miles just to seek me out. I am really that good at this time. Where was I going with this? Um so much got Ah, yes. Behold, all of my super duper mega arms and legs. And this one is really popular with the guys. It even has its own special enlargement aspect after it. It's very, very popular. What do we use it for? Um, pushing oil around. It squirts it out. Here we have stealth legs. <laughs> I like how these things are make you all bad at swimming. So eventually it's just like you just go right into the water and that's it. Okay. 
Okay, more scout lights. A max HP. Ooh, ah. Oh. Those things are amazing. Alright, let's see. Dexterity plus 9%, industrial lifter arm strength. This is one thing I actually haven't done anything with, even in the previous playthrough, is um, the types of skeleton skeleton arms, because I've never needed to. KLR. Hmm. So dex and strength plus ten, but thievery and lock picking bad down. Okay, sounds good. Okay, really good skeleton arms. Okay, I think I've seen everything I need to see. Sounds good, my friend. All right. We've been to Black Rock's Black Black Desert City. Very acidic out here. Ah! <laughs> it's very uncomfortable to be out here. So we sort of explored most of down here. And come around. We could go into Sniper Valley, but um, yeah, we're uh, we're running, we're getting real close to uh, the danger going into Sniper Valley. I think I don't. I've never been to the Sonorous Dark, and we will need to the Royal Valley. We will need to you know, check out some other things. So we're gonna need people who are just a little bit stronger than us that we can reliably take down with our katana. And there's a real easy way to do that. So we just need to go to the hub. Because we are going to be drowning in money pretty soon. Right, you don't know how to get there. Can you get here? Yes, you can get there. Supposedly. Alright, so we're going to be drowning in money after we go there. And this is not to cheese the system, this is to fight a lot of people. As many as we can. Ah, that hurts. Ah! We discovered an outpost. Well, I am curious. Let's go to that outpost. Hopefully there's nobody there to shoot at us. Let's get all sneaky-like. Open the door. No. Okay. All right, sounds good. Lots of interesting things here. Run away. The Lost Armory. All right, let's go over there. See you later. One thing, I am somewhat reticent about hiring a bunch more people because they aren't going to be as fast as we are. They'll be quite quite more... very much slower. Also, I'd like to go fight the Fogmen simply because the Fogmen are not going to be... they all use... for the most part, they all use blood weapons. Plus, there is a shinobi tower there. So instead of fighting dust bandits, we fight bogmen. Heal them off, one by one, then fight them to the death. I think they're 12s? Maybe 20? And their fighting skill? Alright, we're gonna go down to this way station. And let's do that. Ah, it auto-saved, that's it. We have a really nice weapon. And a, and a bow, just in case we need that. We 
we hire somebody at the uh, at Mongrel, which I don't think we will, then you know that could work out. Okay, very nice, and we just want to make our way to the hub. So we're going to want to go up here. And we run super duper mega ultra fast. So. Yeah, that's not going to work, my dude. This way. What are you doing? What? I guess he got stuck. <laughs> I guess he ran fast enough to get on a to get on an incline that he's not supposed to be able to get on. And then that stopped him from moving. Okay, let's go over there. Quickly sprint our way over there. Holy military base, eh? Not too bad. No, right, it's loading the hub right now. And let's go. Don't can stand against us. Not here, at least. We could kill some bandits. There's only starving bandits out here, though. I guess we'll go and give it a look. See what we can find. We'll probably go to stack, steal a bunch of stuff so we get a nice little uh, fund going. Are there any bandits for us to brutalize? Something over there. Hungry bandits. The question becomes how many are there? Because we've got, you know, decent defenses. Yeah, you know, there's this, this a handful of them. And their leader, he could be a problem. So we're going to uh, take care of him. Alright, shoot him. Okay, let's make sure he's in the left firing line. Goody! Okay. So he is bleeding out now. That's for that. Okay, we need to run. So we can tend to our wounds. Yes, let's tend. And run. And tend. Can we splint? We can splint our injuries. Let's splint those. Let's run some more. And splint some more. Okay, I don't think we can splint anymore, so let's keep fighting. Awesome. Nothing particularly important has been injured. Yeah, I say, and then we immediately start taking a lot more damage. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. We are playing dead. Nah. Get up. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Blint are injured. Fight them. Ah. So, we killed the one person who uses... We killed the person who uses their... Um... What are you guys fighting? Ninja Guard, huh? 
Well, let's go and uh, help them, shall we? <laughs> All right, sounds good. And our, you know, our, our attack and defense went up some. Let's go over to our shinobi friends. Uh, ninja please. It's going to take a while for us to get there. Can we splint our injuries and go faster? No. All right, well, it's going to take us a hot second to get over there. Are these free? Yes, let's go over there instead. It's just a bit closer. All of our arms and limbs are just absolutely wrecked at the moment. And let's go ahead and recover. Let's go. Take a look around. Um, I mean, I could. Are those bandits still out here? So I'd like to get all that food from them. From their corpses. Because they'd fought over here, right? They'd gotten... They got wrecked over here or something? Oh, there they are. <laughs> Let's go see who has my stuff. Oh, you. How oh, nice. Thanks. And you. And you. And you. You. And you. All right. All right, so our melee defense went up a little bit, I think. Our melee attack went up some. Score Katana's is a bit higher, and our toughness is getting up there. Right now, we have negative 27% resistance. It was 100%, I think, or 50%, something like that. But you know what? What we should do? We should go to stack. And rob these... Dearly, dearly. Well, we don't need to, actually. We can just make our way over to Mongrel, and uh, we'll be perfectly fine. So yes, let's do that. Get our weapons. Nothing was taken from us, so we are good to go. Let's go. For money and profits. And endless power. Learn how to rip these people apart. Rosetta Grillo. A gorilla. Alright, the vein. So we're going to be doing some hardcore training with the Fogmen. Now we're going to head over here. As we can just sprint past all the Fogmen. And not get eaten by them. Those savages. Alright. So, let's go. Over to here first. Because we can go in the side entrance of Mongrel as well. And so we want to get real good at fighting, so we can bring in people like Beep and uh, others. There is a problem with Beep, though. So he can't wear a helmet. So what that means is he'll pretty much always be vulnerable to gas. Alright. Let's go. Let's fight and dreamers our way over there. Right, let's have you move up there. Right, you have those fogmen. What are their skills at fighting? Eh. Better than the dust bandits. What is that? More fogmen camps. 
<laughs> Full bed. I don't even think they saw us. We just ran right past them. They're not like, you're on food. Get back here. We, you, nom noms. Nom 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 noms. Hello, friends. And our good old mongrel. The only real danger here is getting knocked out. Is then, well, no one's coming to save us. And the Fogmen love to travel around in large groups. Alright. Before you know it, they'll be upon you. Huge horde of the beasts. Of the beasts. Let's attack him. So he comes for us. Let's do this. Let's try to kite him out here. So we don't get his friends as well. Ah. 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 We got some of his friends. Okay, it's about time for us to start running, maybe. Yeah, that hit to our head is time to go. However, our skill at fighting has increased. <laughs> That's the important part. That is the only part that matters. Run into the Shinobi Guild. Let's run over here. Alright, let's tend to our wounds. And splint our injuries. And let's do this. And we have recovered. It is time. First, we gotta do more fighting. So, our melee defense has gone up. At one point, our melee attack has gone up, and our katana has went up. Our dexterity and toughness went up as well. And our field medic is slightly high. Well, it's time to go back out there, show these savages who's boss. And by show these savages who's boss, I mean get absolutely wrecked by them. Oh, good, there's a fight going on. That works for me. Hmm. Yeah, escape servants. Okay, well, who's fighting over here? More escape servants versus the Volkman. Let's attack. Alright, that works. Let's join. Hey. Alright, taking these guys down. Little by little. Being hit in the head over and over. Ah. Ah, our chest. We're unconscious. That could be bad for us. Conscious for 25 minutes. Alright, we're getting over there. Ah. Let's get up and try to flee. Okay, where well, I'm conscious of Let's wake up Sneaky. <clears throat> Let's try tending to ourselves. The enemies probably come running out of the uh, middle of nowhere. Let's splint our injuries. We can't... We don't have any injuries to splint. 
And um, let's make our way back into Mongrel. <laughs> well, we can go and get healed up. <laughs> the Mongrel Experience. All right, let's go get back in bed. All right. And we're back. All right, so we still have our great, still have our fantastic weapon. Standard equipment. And we can still go back out there. Lots of fogmen running around. That's good, I suppose. What is this? Now the fogmen, they're jumping that poor, poor escaped serpent. Well, let's go. Stop them. Yes, come out here and fight me by yourself. Partly, mate, fight me like a fogman. Okay, we got him. Who's next? Yeah, let's go. Alright, and... Okay, going up you know, little by little. Every time they hit us and we block, it goes up by 1%. Every time they hit us and we don't block, it goes up by a little bit more. Now, we don't want our legs to... to Break. That would be bad for us. However, there are some servants there helping us out. So that definitely works in our favor. Those servants are going to last forever, though. Alright. Can we run? No. That could be really bad for us. Alright. Um, we are dead. Right, let's be sneaky, Lloyd. And splint ourselves, splint our injuries. Let's make our way back to town. We are purposely trying to avoid venturing off too far. If we can, we want to sneak back home. It's not going to make a speed difference. Alright, let's slowly get over there. Once we are with the two with the gods, should be fine. Let's see. Tough, our dexterity went up. Toughness is almost about to go up, and our melee defense has increased. Toughness has improved a little bit, and our melee attack is up there. Well, that works for me. So they take these dead fogmen and they throw them in the uh, incinerator. Alright, let's go recover. Huh. Slowly making headway. Let's wait. Limp our way over here. Eh, alright. And all right, we're back. <laughs> There's a fight going on. Let's go. This fight over. The fight is over. Oh wait, still going on. Who's this? Shinobi God. He wants. We can talk to him. Huh? <laughs> oh, we tried. All right, let's make our way over here. I do think it's funny that the game will bug out a little bit. Okay, you can just talk to all the guards. Oh, gee. I think the guards just annihilated a bunch of people. A bunch of flogmen. Severed hive left arm. 